Hey, so we're somewhere near Gatineau. I'm doing my intro here while Mike's uh, off because uh, he tends to take over the camera. <laughs> no, gee, Edgar, Mike's over there in, uh, in the washroom somewhere. The boat's on top of the truck. A very long lineup. Tim Hortons. So, June 5th, first trip of the year, pushed back because of the COVID, but we're out here, so. Please continue to visit OntarioParks.com and Ontario Park social media channels for the most up-to-date information. Your continued participation in public safety measures will help keep Ontarians safe. Thank you. So here we are at the Tim uh, River access point. We're gonna take the boats off the truck. We got Mike, uh, looks like Hickory over there. That's right. We got John and Edgar. Oh, it's nice to finally be out here. We were supposed to come out in May on our annual ice out trip, but uh, obviously with everything uh, that didn't happen. All right, see you guys on the on the water. Hey. So it's the uh, start of the trip. Yeah, me and John are in the water. Him and his Kuwait in 14, me and my crew is in 14 8. And uh, <laughs> it's a hot, it's a hot day, but it's been, I've been in here all of, uh, let's say, uh, two minutes and it feels good. Nice to, uh, nice to be out. Hey, okay, so we're looking for our first port dock right now. And boat's handling really well. Sunny, but a little bit of a breeze, so we're not overheating too much. And the boys over there. We're headed up towards, towards Big Bob. And tonight we are staying on the Nipissing River. I think it's probably the first campsite on there. So we're starting our third third portage um, towards Big Bob and then eventually Nipsing. Um, I finally got my boat and bag um, where I need them to be for right now. Anyway, after you know first day, full pack and all. Uh, my yoke is pretty slippery because it's brand new, but all in all, it's pretty good. Um, I have a small bag that I'm carrying with my uh, camera equipment in my left hand, but not too bad, all in all. Yeah, so we have, uh, we're in Big, Big Bob right now. Um, one more little tiny portage into the Nipissing, and down the Nipissing to our uh, campsite. So it's, uh, it's warm, the mosquitoes and the uh, deer flies are out, or horse flies or whatever the hell they are. So far, going pretty good. Um, it's hard to get back out here after uh, doing nothing for so long. Just see how out of shape I am. But, take me a couple days, I'll get back into it. Alright, so we're going from uh, 200 meters from uh, Big Bob to the Nipissing River. Uh, so, and after that, we have two smaller port dives until we get to capsite. There goes John. First off on the trail, Mike getting the boat, 
Edgar packing in his bag. I hope there's a place to jump in the water when we get to camp because it's gonna be nice. Okay, so Mike spotted a moose. So I got my super zoom camera out and uh, tried to find it. I don't know if I actually got any of it. I was a little bit too close to the, to the foliage and his or her head was kind of just barely over the top of that. So I don't think I got anything, but promising. Just got an interesting saw moose. It's good. Good time so far. All right, so we found our first campsite. Uh, it's on the portage. Uh, Mike's got this uh, smoky ass fire going. Uh, uh, there is a slight breeze, and the bugs are not too bad up on the campsite. But once you get down towards the water, they're a little bit, uh, a little bit on you, but not too, too bad. So I'm going to uh, make myself a coffee, and uh, yeah, that's it. Enjoy it. See you later. All right, so Mike, how are you enjoying the trip so far? It's pretty good. Yeah? Uh, you got to talk louder? No complaints, I'm enjoying it. Get like, that on the mic. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fucking, well, it's supposed to be a dead cat, but it's too small, so it's a dead mouse. Fucking... Edgar, what about you? It's a baby triple. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yep. Yeah. He has low expectations. <laughs> Actually, the mic's still picking, you're, you're talking low, but the mic's still picking you up. Oh, yeah? The mic's still picking up Mike. Uh, oh, it's oh. a dead triple. That's what it is. <laughs> Tell you. Yeah, so we got our customary steaks for the first night here. Me and John got ours on the fire already. Edgar's spicing his up. Mike is uh, about to drop it in the coals. Drop it like it's hot. So morning of day one here, we're just packing up. There's gear everywhere. It looks like a, a mech or a sail. And a Canadian tire and uh, anything else you can throw into the mix. Hager's over there with his, uh, his chameleon. Uh, John slept in the uh, Amok Dremere last night. Uh, me and my Ridge Runner and Mike in a DD. What's Mike's uh, DD what? XL DD. Something travel. XL, XL Traveler or something like that? Traveler XL. Yeah. So yeah, we all slept really well. I think the first day out, uh, after uh, sitting around for months on end doing nothing, uh, kind of tucking us out on top of massive amounts of steak for supper. Anyway, we're going to be on the Nipissing probably within the hour, and uh, I'll get back to you then. Okay, so it's uh, just after 8. Um, I'm uh, just throwing some lines in the water while I'm waiting for everybody else to Mike and uh, Hager to pack up their stuff and bring the boat down. John's getting his boat in, so we'll probably just fish here for a couple of minutes, wait for them, and then we're uh, off down the Nipissing. So it's a gorgeous day, uh, cool in the shade, pretty warm in the sun, but uh, should be a good day. We got to go. Uh, we got a long day ahead of us. It's just crazy how calm everything is right now. John seemed to have found a, a little pool over here. I wonder if he's going to have any luck. It's very, uh, very weedy. But, uh, yeah. And we'll see a moose again today. Never know. So now we're you know apart. All this are starting to grow over the the river here. 
not too, too bad so far. I only had one little issue. But, uh, I must say, being a double blade or a single paddle would come in. A single blade would come in real handy right now. Probably going through this. This is pretty messed up. I've never seen trees so thick on a part you're supposed to paddle. I can only imagine when Ow. the wooded beardsman went to Puddle Lake. Puddle Lake, Mud Lake, and they bushed whack down to the crazy. So, essentially, Jesus, probably have a million scratches on my neck. I just, uh, I'm using half of my uh, kayak paddle as a single blade because it's impossible to double blade in here. So, all you pack boat people you're coming down the Nipissing from the Tim uh, from the Tim Access Point, bring a double blade or do what I'm doing right now if you don't want to carry an extra one. It actually works out pretty well. A lot of back and forth though because, hey, Seems to be opening up a little bit here. I'm gonna just hang up here a little bit and wait for everybody to catch up. Make sure everybody's okay. Jesus Christ. Oh fuck. Branches in the face. I feel like I'm back at Catholic school. Anyway. Hey, so we're making our way down the little Nipissing. And as you can see by the amount of all the branches, it's uh, something else. Can't imagine right now the water's a little bit lower, but if we would actually come in May, we would have been probably a lot higher. And more current, so it's probably better we're doing it now than, uh, than our planned May trip. So we got a lot of ground to catch up today. We got to go all the way down to Nipissing, and then head north up the Nipissing to where it forks off again, uh, going east. So we'll see how far we get today. All the way, hopefully. Actually, it's really quiet right now. Don't have a very long paddle so me and John are going a little bit ahead so we don't bottleneck the portage. Next one's a little 55. Oh yeah it's it's really nice to be out here. And I keep saying that but I got a lot going on in my life right now. And I kinda need to get away. Not think about anything for you know, a week just with my buddies and just relax and enjoy nature and I think it's the, uh, the Japanese actually have therapeutical, therapeutical nature trails that doctors prescribe to their patients. And they just walk and soak in the energy. Of the outdoors. All right, so we just made it to the, uh, the portage, finally, after winding our way down the Little Nipissing. And uh, here come uh, Mike and Edgar. So, yeah, we're going to uh, have some lunch here and then uh, do the portage. Now that the river's opening up, uh, it should go a lot quicker. But, uh, the other part was very windy and very tight, so. 
Okay, so I think we're doing pretty good here. Um, I think we're at the junction where it splits between north and south from east to west. I see a sign up there. Even though Jeff's map says that it's unsigned, I have an old version of Jeff's maps. So they might have signed it since then. I'm hoping because if that's the case, then we're doing good. And uh, we'll camp not too, too late. And we'll just set up camp and uh, relax a bit because today's been a long day. Um, side note, loving the, the Cruiser 14.8 so far. Um, and uh, the only thing is, my butt is very numb. But it took a while to get, get like this, so. Okay, so, came over right away with my boat, let everybody else come over. Uh, yeah, this is the site that me and John stayed at a couple of years ago. So I'm gonna throw some lines and see if I can get a, get a trout. No, he yeah, said, he said, <laughs> he said Mike Crotch. <laughs> meter on the nibbissing slowly whittling away up to our campsite a little chunk at a time starting to run out of steam a little bit probably have some sugary snacks some water water some uh, treats and, uh, feel a little bit a little bit better but, uh, 110 I think uh, Portage is right there so she's gonna start it and as soon as uh, Mike and Edgar get in the boat then I'm gonna head up to it and start it because we gotta we gotta get to camp starting to uh, just want to have a camp life right now been a long day in the boat so far we've been in on the water since just after eight, maybe. So it's uh, big days, and then we're gonna have another big day from uh, just above Doggy Dam on the on the map, that part of the Nipissing. So we're going all the way down the Nipissing tomorrow, just like we kind of already did the lower the little Nipissing and up uh, today. So big days. All right, looks like we finally made it to the last portage of the day. Uh, it's going to be uh, nice to sit and have a coffee. Maybe eat some pad thai. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to eat my uh, chocolate uh, cheesecake mix that I brought with me. But we'll see. 
Okay, so apparently I was wrong. I thought that the campsite was on this little portage, but it's actually on the next one. So we have to go up and over, and I think it's at the end of the portage. Um, and hopefully, like I said, I hope it works because I think we're all uh, running out of steam. Except for John, John's a, John's a bull. Anyway. Supper? Okay, so I got a trout. We're gonna keep them for supper. It is supper time. What'd you catch it on? Uh, EGB. Beige and gold. Okay, so since we got to camp, uh, we just kinda all um, did what we had to do. We put up the bug shelter. <clears throat> right here and the mosquitoes were atrocious. Um, so we just kind of, everybody did, well, I got a smoky fire going, John got the bug tent up, and Mike started uh, clearing spots for the hammocks. So essentially we're right on the Nipissing on some rapids, um, very tight for the, um, for all the uh, hammocks, but we're making it work once again. Um, down here, there's the, uh, Rapids of Nipissing. If you walk down towards here, there's like a little staircase, natural staircase, I guess. And uh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, so I caught that little trout. We had that with supper. Um, we already had. Uh, Supper's planned, so each of us took just a little bit of fish to go with it, and uh, it's just enough to get the taste of trout. Um, probably be an early night tonight, just because we're, we had a long day. We were on the water at 8 in the morning, and I think our longest portage out of 7 was like 350 meters. So yeah, we spent a lot of time in the boat. But uh, smoky fire, the bugs are gone. Well, not gone, but a whole lot less. And I think we're all going to sleep really well tonight. We've got another long day tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you later. Alright, so morning of day three here. Slept really well last night in the hammock. We just finished our coffee and uh, oatmeal. And uh, I'm going to start taking down my hammock and uh, get ready to start the next day. So, like I said, today we're going all the way down to Nipissing from the north end towards Nadine. So, anyway, there's my hammock set up back in the woods for the night. Is Edgar going to wash his, wash his socks. John and Mike sitting, probably arguing over something. And yeah. So, you later. Hey, so Mike and Edgar are packing up their hammocks and whatnot. I've already uh, walked my boat down to the cabin on the Nipissing Portage. Um, now I'm just walking my bag. Walk back up after and walk in my camera bag and my paddle, which is the only two things that are left. Um, unfortunately, I lost my sunglasses, but for some reason, like I never bring an extra pair, but this trip I figured somebody would lose their sunglasses or forget them so I, I brought an extra pair so I guess I'm using them for me yeah so when I brought my boat down I forgot that the uh, the cabin was like you know there's still quite a bit of the portage left in the cabin after the cabin that is um so uh, like I said hopefully we'll have there's lots of little rapids and stuff like this that we can uh, that we can fish. So as long as we're doing the time that we want to do, um, we shouldn't have any problem enjoying the day. Uh, even if we get to camp a little bit later, it's getting dark around. Well, I wouldn't even say dark. Uh, like the sun starts to set like 8:40 ish. So we have sun until about 
which is a difference from the May trips where we have to worry about maybe setting up in the dark if we're running late. But uh, so John caught a little trout this morning. Um, I haven't done any fishing uh, today, but uh, we'll see what happens. Go from there. Okay, so here's the cabin. Uh, big moose moose rack here in the front. Some kind of grinding stone, various saws. So if the uh, campsite wouldn't have worked, we were going to try and come down here and see if we could... Oh, we could have actually done it. Lots of trees back in there we could have done. So, anyway. It's on the side here. A little quick, somewhat very dilapidated. Uh, treat this cabin as you would a campsite. If you brought it in, you bring it out. Oh, look at that. Uh, two years ago when we were here, this, this was all full of cans, and canned goods and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, I see a dustpan. I don't see a broom anywhere, but I mean, we could have we made this work for the night if we had to. Not necessarily the cabin, but um, out the back for the, for the hammocks. Little spot down there. Mm. Be a nice day. First portage after the portage from the campsite we were at. So first off-river portage. Only have a couple today. But like I said, we're going from one end um, from high cabin, or high look cabin, or something like that, all the way down to where the uh, Nipissing forks off to go to uh, towards Nadine. And the gooses. What up, gooses? Okay, so we're by the bottom of the falls at the end of the portage. Um, me and John are getting hits. He's hooked up too, but they just couldn't lower. Um, we're trying to find something that you might want to hit a little bit harder. So I threw on my, uh, my Len Thompson, my trusty Len Thompson. and see if I can uh, hook something up. Okay, so no luck. Like I said, a couple of hard strikes, but nobody's landed anything yet. Let Edgar uh, grab a couple of casts because two of them, Mike and Edgar, haven't had a chance to fish as much as me and uh, John. Um, so let him have a couple of casts and see if he can't catch something. And then we'll move, uh, keep on moving down the net. Okay, so Mike's snaked up on a branch here and he's we're essentially going into the rapids and I think he's going to try and reach his hand in and try and find it. So let's put the camera there and see Flip the canoe, just for prosperity's sake. And he gives up. <laughs> 